Thank you, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we find ourselves here um, to commemorate the Tamils who lost their lives and to mark another anniversary uh, since the war crimes that occurred in Sri Lanka. When the Mayor, Boris Johnson, heard that I was going to be here today, he asked me if I could convey to you all, um, first of all, his assurance that London will always remain somewhere that people fleeing from persecution can come and seek refuge. And also to thank you for the contribution that the Tamil community have made to London. Doctors, teachers, people who run their own businesses, professionals throughout the community have really made a valuable contribution to London's culture and economy and we welcome you and we value you. That's the Mayor's message. I'd like to add a few words of my own as someone who has supported for the last three years your call for justice for Sri Lanka and for an independent international investigation. What happened four years ago, in my belief, was not an accident, it was not an act of war, it was a war crime. It was genocide and it is still going on today in Sri Lanka. I was very much involved with calls for justice over what happened in Bosnia and I visited Srebrenica and seen for myself the effect of ongoing genocide over a long period of time. And it's not just the, the tragedy and the crimes that are committed when forces invade, but it is also the ongoing changes to culture and to ownership of businesses which take place. In Srebrenica, the head teacher of the school is a Serbian, and that means that if you are not Serbian, you cannot get a proper education. The police are run by the Serbians, so if you are not Serbian, crimes against you are not properly investigated. The courts are run by Serbian judges, so if you are one of the Bosnian minority, you cannot get justice. And there are homes that have been demolished, because that is where the Bosnians used to live and the Serbians want to drive them out of that community, never to return. In the dark and gloomy woods around Srebrenica, there are still unburied bodies and unmarked graves of the people who were murdered there. And it took too many years for us to get justice in Bosnia. I hope that it takes nowhere near as long as that for us to get justice and to bring people to book in Sri Lanka for what happened. The international community took much too long in the case of Bosnia and in the case of Rwanda and they need to learn lessons from that. I said last year when I was here in, in the rain in front of a very large crowd of you that if someone broke into your house you wouldn't then call the burglar to come along and investigate the crime. So an investigation into the crimes that happened in Sri Lanka, conducted by the Sri Lankan government and their friends, would be a sham and would be completely unacceptable. What we need and what we will continue to call for is an independent international investigation into the genocide and for the International Court in The Hague to bring those responsible for justice so that these crimes can never happen again. A civilised world should not allow this to happen. I was here with you two years ago in Trafalgar Square. I was with you one year ago in the pouring rain. I will continue to be with you year after year until we get that investigation. I wish you well. I'm pleased to see so many people here and uh, I hope that the presence of everyone so close to Parliament and so close to the Foreign Secretary's residence will underline to the British Government the importance of this cause 
and the need for them to continue to support it. Thank you all.